An update on a story Tenant and your son has been following about potentially faulty guardrails on the highway. Earlier this week, we reported a lawsuit against Trinity Industries will now be tried at the federal courthouse in Norfolk. Anita spoke with the attorney in that case today and found the embattled company has other new problems to face. Anita? Yes, Steph. Today, a spokesperson for Trinity confirmed to me that the company was contacted by the federal government recently, specifically the U.S. Attorney's Office in Boston. He says that they're cooperating with the investigation, providing information. This as they prepare to head to court here locally soon, too. One year ago, the verdict in this federal whistleblower lawsuit opened up a world of questions regarding Trinity Industries' ET Plus guardrail system. For the first time, we're seeing the documents, including plenty of pictures that helped win that case of fraud. And now, with a federal criminal investigation underway, drivers across the country are taking note. A safe product became a dangerous product and it became dangerous and they covered that up. This goal of this suit and the attorney general suit is to make sure companies know that if they do that, they're gonna be in trouble. Attorney Jeffrey Bright says his clients have lasting effects from an accident long ago. Mr. Evans is still suffering from severe neurological issues as a result of being pierced by the guardrail. Tuesday, we told you about the 2011 accident. Jose Evans collided with a state trooper, then a guardrail. Bright says they wouldn't have been injured if the guardrail worked. Look at the car, look to see where they were hit. It's the guardrail, not the car, that causes injury, and that's quite clear. I talked to him about the many rounds of testing that Trinity passed in the spring. They pass certain tests with certain products which they decided to test. If you look at the other states testing, you will see that there's a huge majority of these guardrails that were tested elsewhere that fail. He's glad to see VDOT testing the ET Plus guardrail system again. It's like having javelins lined up along the side of the road waiting for a car. They told everyone that it was something different and then changed the design without permission. Of course, Trinity disputes the testing that's currently going on. Still, they're not commenting on the Evans case. Because it's in federal court, we don't have a specific dollar amount that they're seeking. We do know that it's in damages in excess of $75,000, so stuff.